Yes, mystery Steam reviews is the part of the PC Gaming Week Spot where we test the knowledge of one another via Steam reviews that are a mystery. The rules are as follows. Both I and Matthew bring three Steam reviews to the MSR Arena, but we omit the name of the game associated with each review. Our opponent must correctly guess the game attached to each review. One correct answer equals one point. While both of us have 90 seconds on each MSR, we both also have help in the form of three lifelines. These lifelines can be used at any stage during battle and also pause the 90 second timer. Each lifeline can only be used once and they are as follows. Question, but the hot seat haver gets to ask a yes or no question, second opinion, where a second review is given to the warm chair sitter and genre. The genre of the game is revealed to the one with the warm arse. Now, we did something a little bit different for this week's Mystery Steam Reviews, rather than try and tailor us towards something happening in the real world or something happening in games or whatever else, what we've done is allow you to decide what we should be uh, testing each other on today. Uh, so we uh, we ran a poll on youtube.com forward slash rock paper shot on last Thursday, I believe it was. Um, and I need to figure out how to stop polls on YouTube because it's still going. Uh, but, and we needed to make a call basically at one point. So the one that we're going to do today actually is now second by a handful of votes. But, you know, what are you going to do? We had to prepare for this. So, the games that we're looking at today are video games featuring animal protagonists. Uh, or fish or basically non-human, but they can't be aliens or they can't be like created people in Skyrim, a cat person, whatever else. So yeah, and playable animal characters. I think it's pretty straightforward. So look, Matthew, let's get into it. Uh, here is your very first mystery Steam review. Find stick, scratch butthole, get smart. Ape life is good. And that's from Shag. Uh, Shag recommends it, 0. 0.9 hours on record, 0. 0.6 hours at review time. Matthew, your time starts now. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, my God. Fine stick, scratch gets smart. Eight, like, I mean, that brings to mind... Oh, what was that stupid evolution game we played as monkeys? Oh, I say stupid, I didn't really like it. Um... <laughs> It's like Ancestors, there's something odd, like Ancestors, like a human odyssey. Ancestors. I thought that was an epic exclusive, I didn't think it was on Steam. Well, maybe it came out long ago that it is on Steam. Finally, that window of exclusivity is up on Ancestors. <laughs> um, uh, I can't think of any other games we play as a monkey. I mean, ape out, but you don't scratch your butthole in that game. You just smash skulls against the wall. <laughs> like, I don't think that would be my read. Uh, other games you play as monkeys. Let's, I'm going to go with Ancestors. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Pretty much straight away. You know, you... Uh, this review brought to mind Ancestors, which was the, the game from Michelle Ancel, hyped up no. massive... Oh no, sorry, that's wild. Um, uh, Patrice... De uh, Pat Patrice Desolée, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, which uh, was hyped up quite a lot when it came out, kind of failed to inspire many. But has it inspired you to your first point in today's Mystery Steam Reviews? Matthew Castle, I can tell you that the correct answer is Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. Congratulations. Your your uh, your initial thought was indeed correct. So Matthew Castle, one nil up. Uh, I have a feeling I will be lucky to get one, but let's see. I'm going to answer Sonic the Hedgehog to all of them. Matthew, could I have my first Mystery Steam review, please? Humorous lore, sweet synth music, soundtrack, and decent voice acting go a long way. Sun animals are more equal than others. Foxes beat ducks, says Knocker. Recommended at 18.8 .8 hours on record. Time starts now. So, ducks bring to mind um, 
Oh, God, what's the name of it? Mutant Year Zero. Road to Eden, I think was the subtitle. Um, mm. Sweet synth soundtrack. I doubt that had a synth soundtrack, though. I didn't play it. I'm pretty sure it had voice acting. Foxes beat ducks. Oh. Do you know... So, yeah, in Mutant Year Zero... There was like, I don't know if you could get different characters, but I know like the marketing route because I didn't play it. But like, I know there was a duck. Was there was a fox in that? Was there? Um, I feel like what would help me would be maybe my genre. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pause the timer. 38 seconds. Could I have my genre lifeline, Matthew, please? Because uh, yeah, this will either confirm my suspicion or... Throw me off track, I have a feeling. This game is described as a turn-based tactical role-playing video game. Mutant Year Zero, Chris. Is that your final answer? That is indeed my final answer. So, you thought this was Mutant Year Zero based largely on there being a duck in it? You didn't know if there was a fox in it. Is there a fox in Mutant Year Zero? It is a turn-based tactical role-play video game. But is there another turn-based tactical video game with animals? The correct answer is... Mutant Year Zero! Yes. Get in, my Off son. Off to a good start. Good. Off to a good start. Uh, and no bullshit so far. No, all animals that you can play as. <laughs> they are animals. There is no d debate in that. <laughs> nope, it's all above board. Let's see if we can continue it's not, this streak. Oh, hey, it's, a, it's a duck and animal. Let me look it oh, up. Come on, uh, all right, uh, here's your second Mystery Steam review. This game is basically just one, walk to a thing. Two, say ha ha, that is a funny thing. <laughs> Three, walk away. And that's from Jocosity. It is recommended 5.1 hours on record. Uh, 4.4 hours at time of review and it's meant to say Is it recommended? No, it's not. Much done? It's not. It's meant to be not recommended. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> your time Your time starts now. Walk to a thing, safe, and then you walk away. I really need to get closer on the animals uh, for this. Uh, give, me the, give me the second opinion. Okay, we're going to pause the timer there at 1.16. Uh, as Matthew uses his second opinion. So the second opinion of this review is as follows. Apparently, this animal can make a truck explode 11 out of 10. Apparently, this animal can make a truck explode 11 out of 10. And your timer restarts now. Oh. God damn, that's difficult. I thought it might be like Sam and Max, because they're a rabbit and a dog, and you just walk up to things and they they tell jokes, so you're like, ha ha, that's a funny thing. But that's, that's where my thinking was going, and that clue has not helped me at all. This animal can make a truck explode. I don't think you do that in Goose Game. I don't <laughs> think a truck explodes in Untitled Goose Game. Listen. Can I get the genre? You can, of course. Uh, I'm going to pause the timer there. Uh, I like this, this, this aggressive use of lifelines. Uh, the genre of this video game is a third-person perspective action video game. According to wikipedia.org, a third-person perspective action video game. Your timer, 42 seconds, restarts now. Oh, my word. I really shouldn't have used those clues. They've not helped me. Uh, third person animal game. You're running around. You're an animal. You blow up a truck. It's not werewolf. <laughs> uh, a, what, where, what animals can smash things up? Um, like a gorilla, like a, a dinosaur. A Oh, fuck. Five Sh seconds. Keep it up. Shark? Oh, like, uh, ma man eater. I don't know. 
There are trucks in the water. It makes no fucking sense. What am I doing? I was just trying to think of destructive animal games. So, oh, yes. So this one stumped you a little bit. When you saw that there was some kind of humour involved, you were thinking Sam and Max, but the second opinion and trucks exploding and then the genre of a third-person perspective action video game has led you to Maneater, which indeed is where you play a shark and a destructive shark at that. But is it the right answer? A truck? You wouldn't reach for truck, would you? A Maneater. You can jump on ground. You can actually go on land as in Maneater. You can. Matthew, the correct answer is... Goat Simulator. Oh... Fucking Goat Simulator. I got. I pushed that game out of my head because I fucking hate Goat Simulator. That is like meme the game. It, it is. It is very much meme. Very much meme. Oh, fuck Goat Simulator, man. Um, <laughs> why is it not? A, why, is, why is it not a simulator on Wikipedia? It's a, got it in the name. It's a third-person action game. If you said simulator, I would have been like Goat Simulator. Like that's oh Wikipedia. Bullshit. Who wrote that page? Who wrote? Does Wikipedia have a right? Hang on, one second. What are you? Are you? Are you, are you going to li- change it? Edit the Wikipedia page live on air. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this page? Does it tell you? I doubt you can see that. Can you? Does Wikipedia reveal yeah, it? Yeah, it does. I want the oldest. I want the oldest version of this page. What? To see if it's someone. Someone called. Mm. March, March, March. The uh, the oldest thing mm. was by someone called Jade Phoenix Pence on Wikipedia. If you were the person who listed surname. this game as a fucking third person action game when it's got simulator in the title, I'm changing it. I'm ch- after this stream's right. finished. I'm changing it because that is bullshit. Matthew, could I have my second mystery steam review, please? Brings me back to the days when we had to blow on games to make them work. 10 out of 10, says AJ Natrix. They recommend this game at 9.5 hours on record and 6.2 at the time of review. Time starts now. Brings me brings me back to the days when we had to blow on games to make them work. So, this is obviously... It's not a. It's not like a Mega Drive re-release or whatever. This isn't Echo the Dolphin. It's something that makes people remind. Uh, reminds people of old games. But what old game? Um. Ah. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to pause the timer at fifty-three seconds, and I'm going to use my second opinion, Matthew. Please. So I think that okay. may help somewhat. Your second opinion is clunky controls, annoying dialogue noises, but charming humour and lovable characters. Okay, 53 seconds, time starts now. Cl- clunky controls? You can, you can you can edit, edit, edit the Wikipedia page after Mystery Steam reviews. <laughs> um, you, cl- clunky controls, annoying dialogue sounds, was it? Yeah, clunky controls, annoying dialogue noises, but charming humour and lovable characters. So annoying dialogue sounds. That only makes me think of ukulele. And I mean... Yeah, maybe I was going back too far with Mega Drive. I th- I'm going to say ukulele, I think. Yeah. Let's say ukulele, Chris. Interesting. Is that your final answer? That is indeed my final answer. So you seem slightly stumped by the original clue. Then you asked for a second opinion. You seem to latch on to annoying dialogue noises as a key defining factor of ukulele, which is in, which is indeed a tribute act to the N64 games of Rare, which would have had cartridges you blow on. But is it the right cartridge that you blow on that is being referenced in this game? The most confusing sentence. <laughs> the correct answer is... Ukulele! Yes! 
Yes. Uh, it would be two all if it not for Wikipedia bullshit. Um, happy with that. Uh, yes. Because uh, do you know what initially came into my head? Do you remember that game Tanglewood, which was a like a, 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 a somebody actually made a Mega Drive game. They released it on PC as well, and I was like. It's hardly that. Uh, Matthew, would you like your third and final Mystery Steam review? Yeah, go on then. Don't bother wasting your time with this one. The levels are too big, mechanics are clunky, and it feels soulless compared to its spiritual predecessor. I regret kickstarting this game. And that's from Ray the Gamer. It's not recommended. 4.7 hours on record. Matthew, your time starts now. <laughs> this is ukulele. <laughs> This is definitely going to be you go lately. Because its spiritual predecessor is Banjo-Kazooie. Its levels are too big. This review is correct. And it was kickstarted. This is definitely you go lately. Um, and I also congratulate you on the whole... Oh, I don't know, like, not having you go lately pop into your head for the last question. Uh, good play acting. You disguised it well. This is you go lately. I don't even need that last clue. Is that your... Final answer. If you've not used a clue, you should be able to turn that into a point. Oh, at the end. give over. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, almost <laughs> instantly, you looked at this. This is actually a rare instance of a mystery steam review you agree with. You're like, yeah, this person is correct. I, uh, these are my feelings towards ukulele. But was this review attributed to ukulele? Matthew, I can tell you that the correct answer is... Ukulele. Three for three. Well done. Well done. Uh, Matthew, could I have my uh, third and final Mystery Steam review, please? I wasn't expecting to get any points this week. I'm quite happy. I have seen lots of comparisons to Sonic and Metal Slug, but to me, it feels more like the Donkey Kong Country series. You collect peanuts instead of bananas, and humans instead of coins, says Bottled Water. <laughs> they recommend it. 5.7 hours on record. 5.3 at the time of review. Time starts now. What? Comparisons to Sonic and Metal Slug, so it's 2D. But it feels like Donkey Kong, you collect peanuts instead of bananas, and humans instead of coins. So who eats peanuts? Elephants? Me? Elephants? I don't, as we learned a number of months back well, here in the week's part. Um, I mean, man is an animal. Oh, come on. Um, elephants? Monkeys? Uh, I mean, this would be so out of left field. You would never pick. So uh, it was a 2D platformer don't think I ever played it. So I don't know how much of a, like, a metal slugginess there was to it. But like, Tembo the Badass Elephant, which was made by Game Freak, the Pokemon people. This is hardly Tembo. Because who remembers? I don't know why I remember Tembo the Badass Elephant. Oh, I mean, I have a question, but I don't know what I'd ask. Um. Ah, Tembo the Badass Elephant, Matthew. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah, it's my final answer. The correct answer is Tembo the Badass Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, sir. <laughs> Three for three. <laughs> oh my god, this is the proudest moment of my life, I think. I cannot wow. believe. Why did you pick Tembo the badass elephant? <laughs> this is an elephant. It's an animal. But like, who remembers it's... Tembo the badass elephant? You. It's a, it's a Sega game. I mean, that's probably why, yeah. And I do remember the Pokemon... Uh, game freak involvement as well. Yeah, you remember more about this game than I do. I knew that was. I thought. I thought. I was looking at that one, thinking, "Shall I do this?" I thought, you know what? I think he's actually got a chance of getting that. Huh, I'm 
overjoyed with that. Marvellous. 